spectacular. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I'm being transported somewhere. Jeff, I'm so excited. You're always surprising me with new little hot spots. Here we are in your backyard, and I'm thrilled to find out where we're going today. I'm not going to tell you much, but we are going to go to the best Italian restaurant in La Mesa, and I can't wait to share it with you. Say no more, Jeff. Italian food, I am in heaven. Francesco, I walk in here and it transports me back to my college days, backpacking through Italy. Such fond memories, warm atmosphere. How did you leave such a beautiful place to come here? Tell me. I left the beautiful place because knowing the beautiful place is going to stay there. And, you know, and I came in Los Angeles in, uh, was in 1991. You know, I started to work in a place in Arlington Beach. You know, as a as a cook, chef, or whatever you want to call, you know, I'm not speaking English, you know, very well, but you know, I can go around. And the thick accent is wonderful, though. It brings I, the authenticity the to the it. restaurant. Yeah. Absolutely, it's good for the experience. Yeah. And after that, I got offered a job in uh, San Diego, and I moved in San Diego. And a few years later, you know, I got tired of to work for other people, and I start to look around to open my own business and. I founded this place in uh, East County, you know, which was a hole in the wall, I should say. And, you know, I, I chose the place and, you know, 19 years later, we're still here, you know, very strong and, you know, I'm happy. Well, you turned it into a beautiful place and I know you do get a lot of local here, as I'm assuming. Yeah, most of the business is from local people, you know, local, you know, meaning, you know, the Cedro and, you know, Alpine and, you know, but they, they the surrender area, but you know, people they bring friend and friend they bring friend and you know. If you ask a local around here and you say, hey, where's a great place to eat, good Italian food, a great restaurant with some ambiance, this is the place they talk about. Well, clear, if it's so busy, he does no advertising, the locals, the word of mouth, you love this place, yes. so that speaks volumes. We try to change the menu, you know, with the season, you know, like fall and uh, summer and spring and winter. You know, we changed the menu about a few months ago. I'm about to change the menu again, you know, beginning of December. You know, we're gonna do, usually we live, we live in the menu, you know, the, the dishes, people, you know, people love it. And you know, they, it's the most, the best seller, I should say, you know, like this one, you know. Tell, tell us about it. This one is a, a, a boneless short ribs, and it's the, the technique we use, it's a braised. Uh, carrots, onions, and uh, uh, celery, red wine, a lot of fresh herbs, and uh, salt and pepper, you know, cover, stick it in the oven for a few hours, and, uh, you know, a lot of love, and that's the result. Well, I haven't tasted it yet, but it looks like you could just cut through that with a fork. No knife needed. I mean, it looks Not amazing. Yet. You want to try oh, it? I will, I will, absolutely. And Jeff, you mentioned that this is one of your favorites coming here. Yeah, you can't, you can't, when you have an Italian restaurant that actually serves you something other than pasta and pizza, that's a real Italian restaurant, right? Yeah, like, like you, I was saying before, I'll, I'll try to be different, you know, from the others, not because, you know, it's not good, but, you know, people come to my place, you know, because, you know, we give it great, great food, great atmosphere, excellent service, and most of the people, they feel like, hey, home away from home. Well, and I think most of the people agree with that. I saw an award as we walked in the front door that you received this year. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. You know, I, I, I don't pay attention to the awards <laughs> because, you know, uh, the, the awards, they are my beautiful customers. You know, I, that's my big awards. And, you know, I love it when the people, you know, they finish to eat and they live with a smile on the face. And I say, I tell them always, if there is something wrong, just please 
tell us right now, you know, I can fix it. You know, I got a great team behind the, behind the, behind me. You know, people in the kitchen they've been working for me forever. Yeah, you mentioned you have a very loyal yeah. team. Lots and, of years. You know, the kitchen they've been working for me. You know, almost since when we opened. They happy. I'm happy and. A great team, you know, we're making sure, you know, we're making people happy, you know, our patrons because they are the most important. Can you tell us uh, how you got into the business and why, like what drove you to be a chef? I, I, you know, when I finished middle school, you know, I went to culinary school back home in Sicily, in Palermo. How and, old were you? Uh, 14. 14 years old yeah, in culinary in, school. In, it, in Italy, we started early, you know, after middle school. We go to high, uh, high school, which is considered, you know, college. You know, in Italy, mm -hmm. the college is the, the high school. And I started culinary school at 14. You know, I stayed there three years. You know, people say, you know, chef, chef. I don't consider myself a chef. I consider myself a food lover, you know. Is there a particular food that you brought from Sicily specifically that you serve here in this restaurant that is kind of close to your we, heart? I'm always happy when I cook seafood because uh -huh. I come from a, a small village and everybody's a fisherman or even on the fish business. So I grew up with seafood. I, lo I love your calamari, and I always judge an Italian restaurant by the calamari, and you serve the whole thing, and it's fantastic. Thank you very much, my friend. Thank you. And I anticipate that this salmon is going to be delicious if salmon, seafood is your specialty. Salmon, is, it's one of the best sellers on the menu, you know, with, uh, with the short ribs. But the menu, the menu goes, you know, very well. So we do, we do also some uh, gnocchi, homemade gnocchi, potato dumplings with the with the short ribs, you know, we chop it up and we use the same the same sauce that we put, we top it up with cho, uh, with uh, goat cheese. People love it and so then we have the, the classic, the lasagna, chicken parmigiana, pollo parmigiana, which we don't have in, in, in Italy, you know, we don't do it, but, you know, like you gotta you gotta serve you gotta serve food that people love it, you know, your customer love it and, you know, even, even you know, I'm 100% Italian, and you, know, you gotta serve it to the people, you know, something they wanted. So Jeff, you mentioned you love this place, and I'm sure you have a lot of clients that also come here being local to the area. Yeah, I've got a lot of clients that do come here all the time. One in particular is gonna be selling their house pretty soon, and it's around the corner on Lakeshore. And for a food lover who's looking for a place to buy, this is the house. There's an organic, garden in the back, a vegetable garden. There's the largest outdoor kitchen I've ever seen. Wow. And they actually have grapes they brought back from Italy and uh, are growing in the backyard, some really nice table grapes. Sounds so any, like a chef's delight. It is, so anybody who likes to cook, who wants to be near a great restaurant like this one, they should reach out to me and I'll tell them all about it. Awesome, I can't wait to hear more about that and see the property. And Francesco, thank you so much for having us here. I'm very excited to taste this beautiful My dish, pleasure. and it's been such a pleasure learning more about you and your restaurant. Thank you. Thanks. I hope you enjoy the food, and thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank, thank you, thank you so very much. much. Before. You haven't been here? Well, Not yet. you're going to keep coming back. I'm here all the time. I think I'm here so often, they think I work here. <laughs> That's a good sign. Yeah, so right. Well, I came hungry. Well, let's go. Let's <laughs> try it. have quite a treat, right? Because you dine here often, but today we're actually here with Sandra Carday, the owner, the founder, the mama of all things good. <laughs> thank, thank you. you for having us. Well, thank you for having me. What a title, right? Yes. yes. And can we just take a second to enjoy these incredible smells that are coming from this table? Here, a mastermind. Well, I mean, I think that's part of the uh, experience is you have to be able to smell the food, yes. see the beautiful, and it's visual, it's, and it's, you know, your, your, all your senses should be involved in the food. And you got your start in Havana, right? Well, I wasn't born in Havana. I was born in a little town in Oriente province. Okay. And this is food from my area of Cuba. 
because you know it. there are regional differences in Cuba also just sure. like there are here in the United States. So you brought all that love to San Diego and this has been your home for how long now? For a long time <laughs> since I was a child and my parents moved here uh, but um, we've lived here a long time. So the food that we have here, would this be traditional Cuban food, Cuban American food, a little bit of both? No, this is traditional Cuban food, but the the food itself uh, was influenced by Africans, Europeans, Italians, French. So Cuban food is an amalgam. It's mm. really a mix of of all kinds of other cuisines that 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 are African and European in origin. And for those who haven't had the opportunity, which is crazy, to enjoy Cuban food, the way C Cuban food is made, one, with love, of course. Absolutely. But so much flavor and spices, marinades, but not spicy, right? No, Cubans do not eat spicy chilies. Uh, none of this will burn your mouth or <laughs> your throat. No. Cubans flavor their food in a complex way. So we have a layering of flavors here that starts with onions, peppers, garlic, olive oil, and then we season with cumin and oregano and other spices. My mouth is watering. <laughs> So that's why you get these amazing fragrances from the food and the flavor profile is so complex. So yeah. we have some of your favorites in front of us. Tell us a little bit about some of the dishes. Where do you want to start? Let's see, uh, mine because I'm <laughs> drooling over this one. <laughs> what do we have here? Well, that, we, half call, chicken. we call that pollo and pollo just means chicken, chicken. in Spanish. That I got. Mm -hmm. And that is a half Mary's chicken. It's a free range chicken and we brine it for 24 hours before we even put the rub on it. Wow. And then we roast it. Oh we gosh. have a wonderful rub that goes on there and we roast it when you order it. Oh my gosh, the juiciness. It's, it the, is juicy. It yes. is definitely I juicy. I like the skin. Yes. That is my favorite. Yes. I mean, you, that hits your, your taste buds first and then the chicken. Yeah, a lot of flavor in that. Thank really, you. Thank really you very good. much. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Right? <laughs> And so what's the one closest to you? This one is called lechon, and we call it lechon, <laughs> which means baby pig, but that's our word for it. Mm. And we marinate this pork, chunks of pork. So good. We marinate it overnight, and then it goes into the oven, and it's roasted for six hours. Wow. So the flavor of that pork is amazing. And I mean, nothing else apart. tastes like it that. It does fall apart. I mean, you don't yeah. need a knife. No, 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 no. It, it's fall apart and, and, and very flavorful, very flavorful. So my first experience with Cuban food was when I was in Miami. Yes. And you know, you would think that I'd have a little bit more experience, not at this age, but I hadn't. And I fell in love with it. I went to Little Havana and I was only planning to go there for, you know, one day, an hour, have a meal. I kept going back every day. <laughs> so when I flew back to San Diego, the first thing I did was Google Cuban food and you guys <laughs> popped up. And I've been the coming best. ever <laughs> since. And I try something new all the time and everything I try is amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Well, we have, uh, we have a philosophy here and that is if we can't make it truly spectacular, excellent, we just don't put it on the menu. We mm. don't serve it. It I has to be excellent. Yep. And if it's not, you won't right. find it here. So everything on the menu is exceptional. Yeah, I can see the passion, you know, not just in you when you talk about it, but in the food. I taste mm -hmm. it as well. Oh, thank you. That's the idea. Mm -hmm. And everything, too. I mean, you walk into here, and it feels like you're walking into a home, right? Mm -hmm. The ambiance, the lighting, all the plants. There's always <laughs> Cuban music playing, and mm -hmm. you can see there people is. kind of moving their shoulders sometimes. <laughs> Are you sure it's not at the, the table? <laughs> I think they're a little happy with what they're eating. Yeah, it's a little bit of everything. But no, yes. they, they rock dance. back and forth with the food and the music. Yes, and what I love too is that you cut no corners so not only on your recipes but all your food is organic non-gmo you use extra virgin olive oil just the extra steps in everything we do this is the way i cook at home mm -hmm. and so it just seemed to me that if i could duplicate that in a restaurant yes. setting it would be a hit and thank goodness it has been <laughs> because you were my mama girl <laughs> <Right. laughs> Because this is the same way we cook at home. Mm. It's noticeable, right? I mean, it's comfort food. And I think of comfort food, I think of my mom, my grandmother, that flavor comes through. But sometimes I also think it could be a little heavy. <laughs> and that's not the case no. at all. It's not going to put you to sleep. This no, one's you're fried not going to get not yeah. going to go to sleep. No, oh, you're I not. Mean, I was eyeing not, that one. I, I, be careful right because for it. that I is know. chock full. I should have wore a bib. That is chock full <laughs> of beef. 
Amazing. Oh, yeah. And raisins and onions and peppers and garlic. It's the perfect, and like, salty sweet. Mm. <laughs> so I got to ask you, we yeah. have some amazing food here, but I was told on Fridays you guys do something special here, right? Yes, we do. Tell every, us about that. Every Friday and Saturday night we put out a big 36-inch paella. Wow. It's a, a seafood paella. Okay. And there are only a limited number of servings in that pan, but we put it out in front and we, we serve you the fresh, hot seafood paella right from the pan. <laughs> I didn't know about this until right this before evening. we started filming. Yeah, I'll be here Friday. Yes, <laughs> and to top it all off, after you eat this glorious feast, rumor has it you have the best desserts in San Diego, and then some. <laughs> well, we don't, we don't really focus on desserts, but like I said, everything we serve has to be exceptional. Yes. So the few desserts we do have are exceptional from the, the rice pudding, which we call arroz con leche, mm. which we make with an infusion <laughs> of star anise and cinnamon sticks. Yep. And we have a wonderful guava and cream cheese pastry. It's in a puff pastry. And we bring the guava in from Brazil. It's the, it's the best guava that we can make. Okay. And we have an amazing flan. Everything here is made from scratch with the same ingredients that, that we would use at home. And I know you've made us feel like family, so we can attest that I'm sure everybody that walks through your doors is family as well. They feel that way, and sometimes they won't leave without giving us a hug. Okay, well, <laughs> we won't leave without giving you a hug, too, but I don't think we're going to leave this table for a while because we're diving in. You're getting two hugs from yeah. me. <laughs> So thanks for showing us good. a little bit about Havana Girl. Well, thank you very much for being here. Thanks for having us. Welcome to Access at South Coast Plaza. This is awesome. I'm glad you made it. I can't, you've been telling me to come here for years. This is unbelievable. What was my expectations? I'm glad you made it. Let's have a seat. May I offer you some champagne? Of course. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Well, as you know, as always, I'm crazy busy. So I want to see what you have in store for me today. I have some gray looks for you and I cannot wait to show you what I have. Let's go. What do you think about this look? Okay, I love this look. This is so me. I feel like I could wear this casual Friday, go into nighttime, some of the horse shows I go to or polo. Like it seems very versatile. It is, and I want to show you that this look can absolutely transform to an evening look just by switching the jacket. Can't wait to see. Okay. How do you feel about this look? Okay, I love this look, and I just started loving vests, and this looks super sharp together, I think. How do you feel about the context of reflecting this look in your business? Well, I feel I would feel very confident walking into someone's home or a business dressed like this. And it's interesting because San Diego is a big metropolitan area, but it's comprised of like the sophistication of downtown, and then we have the coastal life, which is a little bit more surf and casual. We have a big equestrian lifestyle, like historic with polo and and um, also dressage and jumping. But then the thing is, no matter what somebody is, if you walk into a room dressed well, they're gonna give you respect, they're gonna listen to what you have to say. And I always feel like dressing well is a form of good manners. Fashion is, I agree, a fashion is not only the way you look, it's the representation of your character. Couldn't agree more. Well, you know what I like the best about today, and I have to tell you, because I don't like going store to store 
or feeling pressure from different salespeople, but you've collected all the things that you knew I would love, and then you have them in these fitting rooms here, and I can mix match things together, see which look I like the best, and I've never actually had an experience like this before, so I'm super impressed. Like, how does one get into something like this? This is really a private VIP room, and the most important part as well is to save you a lot of time. So we, you don't really have much time to go and walk around. This is a beautiful um, shopping center, but most importantly, it's the time that you're saving by doing this, and it's a very practical. There's only one problem. I want every damn thing that you've sent me so far. So we met 10 years ago, and we met at, I think, a Miracle Babies event, a philanthropy, and it was so fun, and you were saying, hey, can I dress you? And I'm like, no, 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 I was actually kind of scared, because I love dressing myself, I love going shopping, and I feel like I have a really good sense of style. Fast forward 10 years later, I didn't realize I'd be in this position where, super busy with work, don't have time to go to the stores anymore, I never want to shop online, because I actually like to feel the fabrics, the materials, I want to see the fit. So that's super important to me. And that's how we became even closer than we were because you've been helping me with my passion for the past couple of years. It's an honor to dress you and understanding really well your lifestyle, especially when it comes to philanthropy because we both met a while ago through a, com a common cause that we both love from mm -hmm. our hearts. So with that say, this upcoming month, well, as far as galas for this look. So this one's going to do really well. I have Ocean Discovery Institute, as you know, I've been on the board for almost 18 years and I, I've been the chairperson for the gala many, many times. I have uh, Miracle Babies, which you wear a tuxedo kind of black tie, but as a masquerade party, which I'm excited. And then also I have um, Feeding San Diego coming up. So this is all in the next couple months. So this is an A plus. Well, you know what the strangest thing of today was? So you know the things that I like, but everything is fitting right off the shelf. It's like they were tailored. Like, it's so crazy, like you knew exactly my size, you know, I've been trying to work out, trying to be on a diet lately, and you actually saw in the future and picked things that would actually fit me, which was really awesome. I am glad you like it because, in my opinion, you look stunning. Thank you. Okay, you and I have a love-hate relationship, and one of the reasons is you're too good at your job, I have the hardest decision ever now after a really great day, and I'm in misery. Do you know why? I don't know what to pick. Help me. Of course, that's what I'm here for. 